Hey, it's Joy. So, I have an emergency situation. I pulled my car into a supercharger and then um, my door won't close anymore. And I can't, I don't want to bang on it because it's going to break the window if I do. So, um, I think it has something to do with the collision work, body shop work. Um, that was done on my car. I picked up my car a little over a week ago. Maybe they didn't screw something in right so that it fell off and so now my driver's side door won't close anymore. I just put in a request through my Tesla app for roadside assistance and I also called the number um, shown on my screen and spoke with an agent and they sent out a tow truck that should be here in the next 20 minutes. And the towing company also called me to um, get the information. Today's Saturday, unfortunately, so I can't tow it directly to the body shop because the body shop is closed. So the towing company also spoke to Tesla Insurance. And so they agreed to have my car towed back to my place. And then come Monday morning, they will tow my car back to the body shop. So I am going to um, document this um, experience. And I know that a lot of people, you probably have not, and hopefully will never ever have to use roadside assistance. But I figure this is an emergency situation. And so I am going to document this and share this in the video with you. So um, I'm waiting right now for my tow truck person um, to show up. And um, in the meantime, yeah, can't drive this car with this door open. So I'll keep you updated. This is a supercharger I'm in. I um, charge it up to 86%. And um, what I did was I came into service and scroll all the way down. And at the bottom here, there is the Tesla roadside assistance phone number. So in case you didn't know, and if you run into any type of emergency um, situation and you need roadside assistance, you can call this number or you can um, request, um, send in a request, a roadside assistance request through your Tesla app if you have Tesla insurance. But here's the situation with the door. I don't want to bang it too much because the window might break. So this is what's happening with the door. Okay, the tow truck is here and I drove out of the supercharger with my hand on the door just right around the building and um, we're gonna tow this back to my home and then Monday morning I'm gonna have it towed to the body shop and get this fixed. My car is towed back to my parking and I'm gonna put my um, car cover that I always put on anyway when I'm parked here because I'm parked underneath a tree. However, to preserve battery since the door can't close, um, I charge it to 86% and now it's already down to 83. So I'm actually going to just go ahead and power off the car so it won't drain much battery and the lights will turn off and everything. Nighty night until Monday. Okay, it's about 10.30 a.m. Monday morning. I am fighting a cold, so excuse my voice if it gets weird. At 8.30 a.m., I called the body shop and explained to them what had happened. They said, no problem, take your car in anytime today, we'll take a look at it. 
Then I called Tesla roadside assistance to arrange for the tow truck to come. I was put on hold for about 20 minutes before I was connected with an agent. I think it's probably because a lot of things happened over the weekend and a lot of people needed assistance now, Monday morning, and um, that's why I was on hold for so long. And the agent was super nice, very professional. Unfortunately, he told me that because this was my second tow, second roadside assistance request, I would need to call the claims department and have them authorize the towing. I could not initiate this within the Tesla app again. And instead I had to actually call the one a something Tesla number for Tesla insurance to have the claims department authorize this towing. So I hung up with roadside assistance. I called the claims number. I was put on hold for another half an hour before I was connected with an agent. And the agent told me that because this is associated with the repair work that I had done at the collision center associated with the previous claim, they will need to contact that adjuster for that adjuster to authorize the towing. So basically I was on the phone for like the last hour, just being sent to different places. So I hung up with them immediately. Again, the agents are super nice. They told me exactly what to do, but just the, this whole process of bouncing me around that was really just a waste of time. So then I texted my adjuster, Ronaldo, if you remember from the very first video that I did uh, when I first had the, had the accident. He was super responsive. He replied right away, asked me what happened. And um, I told him that I believe that this was associated with the body shop because I noticed when they were repairing my car, the driver's side door was left open for long periods of time while they were uh, in the body shop, in the collision center, fixing my front left side um, of the collision. So he arranged for the, um, the towing or he authorized the towing. Um, and at that time he said he couldn't guarantee that I would get the same towing company because I told them that's what the towing company had told me on Saturday to make sure to request them again because they know exactly what happened with me. They know how to get my car, the driver's side door, so it would not bang up the paint and they know how to tie it up securely and transport my car. But he said he could not guarantee it, um, but he would monitor it. So, um, then he sent out a request and he told me that fortunately he was able um, to get the same towing company, even though it was randomized on their end, according to him. He said he had no choice but to wait for um, a towing company, a towing partner to respond, but he did get the same towing company. So yay. Um, but unfortunately, the earliest uh, tow time, because I asked how long would it take, the earliest arrival time he could get was at noon. <laughs> so I would have to wait for another hour and a half for the tow truck to show up and then get my car to the body shop. Um, so yeah, it is a very lengthy process, unfortunately, extremely time consuming, but I did look online and I spoke with a couple of my friends. They said that it could simply be um, a latch problem that, um, that they didn't take care of. So I'm hoping that it is a very simple issue to fix once the car gets to the body shop. So, this is the current update. I will come back when my car is uh,
being taken to the body shop. Okay, it's about one o'clock in the afternoon and the tow truck literally just got here. So I'm going to get my car on the tow truck and take it to the body shop. Okay, so the tow truck is here and I powered down the vehicle overnight so nothing's coming on right now. And the battery's down to 81%, which is not too bad. But as you can see, the door can be shut. So let's take it to the body shop. So today I rolled down the window and the car was able to actually go in one click, but not all the way in. So um, yeah, electronically it works because when I press on the button, the window will roll down like when I'm sitting inside trying to get out it will think that I'm trying to get out so the window will actually roll down so it's definitely something mechanical that uh, happened that um, caused the door not closing all the way but on Saturday I couldn't even do this first click it was really scary so let's see what happens okay so I just came back from the body shop and thankfully as I suspected it, it was not anything serious. So it turned out I had to remove the blingy. I, I'm gonna reinstall it. But it turned out that um, inside here, it was there was um, like debris that got stuck in there. And um, so the door wasn't closing all the way, but um, the latch was working fine and the strike plate is on tight so i'm glad it was not even the latch so what they did was um, because before when i opened this there was squeaking noise they ended up um, lubricating this for me so now it's working totally fine you can hear that's the latch so the latch had been working totally fine it just there's some debris probably from the bling customization um, sticky glue stuff that got in there so again thankfully nothing serious and if this happens again I know what to do with it so whew. I am back from the body shop and the car is back to normal the door handle goes inside and springs out normally. There's no more squeaking sound. Um, so thankfully it was not even the latch issue. Thankfully it was just as simple as cleaning out the debris. And so now if this happens again, I would know exactly how to deal with it and um, hopefully it won't happen again. But um, I do have to say that um, aside from the experience that from this morning where I had to tow my car again from my place to the body shop, if this had happened during a normal weekday where the shops were open, it would have been just a straight shot from the place of incident to the shop and this would have been taken care of like, like that. Um, but because it occurred on the weekend, the shop was closed, it complicated things for me. Um, and well, I guess my suffering is your gain with this video because now we understand more about the process between roadside assistance and Tesla insurance, insurance claim uh, department and how they coordinate with the tow truck partners and you know towing to the destination and all that stuff but everyone that I have dealt with throughout this process have been super professional very nice uh, even the tow truck people um, had a great time chatting with them on the way to my home and then on the way to the shop and the body shop uh, manager was so nice I ended up giving him a big hug I will say thank you for Diagnosing this is not even anything serious. He like lubricated the door handle for me. He's like, it's okay, it's okay. Just so nice because I was so scared that something happened to my door. Um, so 
again, this is my experience with Tessa Roadside Assistance. I hope you'll never, ever, ever have to use it again. And if you do have to use it, it's not going to be on a weekend <laughs> where you don't have to go through this complicated process. But I hope uh, this video has helped you um, with the entire process of uh, dealing with Tessa Roadside assistance. So thank you so much for watching and my car should be back to normal now. I will see you in the next video and God bless you.